Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, September 10th. I'm James Spann. September 10th is the climatological peak of the hurricane season for the Atlantic Basin. And guess what? It's awfully active out there. Of course, Florence threatening the East Coast later this week. And Alabama's weather unsettled for the first few days of this week. Here we go. Let's start with the upper air look across North America this morning. For now... We have a trough axis west of the state with an upper low that's located north of Indianapolis. And that's kind of setting up the unsettled weather. Up north, it feels pretty good. We're seeing some 30s up in northern Maine. A lot of 40s around the Great Lakes, but that cool air will not reach us anytime soon. Typically, the first good cool push of the season comes in late September for us. On the watch warning map, we got flash flood watches for parts of South Texas and also parts of the Northeast United States. A marginal risk of severe storms today for places like Philadelphia, New York City, New Jersey. We're in the green, except for the northwestern tip of the state. This is tomorrow, and this is day three, which is Wednesday. Again, we stay in the green. That means at least a chance of scattered storms around. This is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Monday morning of next week. Obviously, the big bullseye is in association with Florence. And understand these numbers could go much higher or maybe lower depending on where this thing comes in and the structure of this. But you can see potential for some 10 to 15 inch rains over parts of North Carolina and Virginia if this verifies. Down here, rain amounts one half to one inch for much of the state. And again, your number might vary. But let's go right to the tropics. There's the trio. We've got Florence, Isaac, and Helene. Let's start with the uh, one that's farthest out there. This is Hurricane Helene with winds of 85 miles an hour. This thing's going to hang a right out in the middle of the Atlantic, so no threat to land. Let's go to Isaac. This is a hurricane, winds of 75 miles an hour. This is likely going to affect the Lesser Antilles uh, at the end of this week on Friday, then coming into the Caribbean. However, due to shearing, uh, the Hurricane Center expects this to weaken to a tropical storm. Where does it go from there? Well, here's a look at the output from the European Ensemble. And most of the members bring it straight on through into Central America without much of a turn to the right. And a few do, but really only one member out of 51 brings it up in the Gulf of Mexico. So for now, that looks pretty good for the Gulf or the Southeast United States. But still, it's very early in the game and that could change. We all know that. Of course, the attention is focused on Florence. This is the latest satellite view as the sun is coming up over the system. Uh, it is clearly getting stronger in a hurry. Uh, maximum sustained winds early this morning were at 105 miles an hour. This probably will be a major hurricane by the time you uh, watch this, Category 3. Let's just go right to the official track from the Hurricane Center. They bring it in Thursday night around Cape Fear in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, they've been very consistent in this track, and that looks pretty good here. Uh, here's a look at the earliest reasonable arrival, arrival time of tropical storm force winds. They could see winds of 40 miles an hour on the coast as early as Wednesday night. But again, landfall will likely come Thursday night. Check the uh, modeling on this. Uh, first off, the tropical models pretty tightly clustered. As you can see, the tropical models want to bring this thing into uh, North Carolina, which makes the confidence factor fairly high. European, again, you got 51 members here. The, the mean is a little farther to the south than the tropical models. It brings it in closer to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And again, you know, the track could certainly change a little bit as we get closer to landfall here, but the consistency on the Carolina coast is certainly high, either North or South Carolina. This is the intensity guidance, and almost all the models bring it up to a Category 4 and keep it there until the time of landfall Thursday night. So this will likely be a major dangerous hurricane. 
And the problem is the steering currents are going to collapse, and that thing's going to sit up there for a while, which could bring some really big rains. Let's go to the GFS. This is the uh, 06E run at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Trawfax is west of the state. A stalled surface front from near Huntsville down to about Hamilton. North and west of there, the day should be dry. South and east of there, the day should be wet. This is the precipitable water at 4 o'clock this afternoon off the Her. And again, you can see very moist air for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Gadsden Point South. So showers and thunderstorms are likely for that part of the state today. Not going to rain all day, but certainly a few downpours are likely. This is tomorrow, and again, the front stalls out. It's just stuck up there. So again, uh, it's scattered to numerous showers and storms, cloudy at times, highs in the 80s. Wednesday, again, scattered showers and storms are likely at least. The front will not make it any farther to the south. Now we'll go to Thursday, kind of focusing in on uh, Florence, and as Florence approaches, we begin to get drier. Maybe a few scattered storms, but quite frankly, we're going to get into the subsidence ring, sinking air on the outer periphery of that thing. But that'll be coming in Thursday night, and then this is Friday. The GFS kind of sits that thing over the outer banks. And again, Friday for us, relatively dry with only a small chance of a shower. We'll see low 90s, and this is Saturday. It just slowly drifts in uh, near the Virginia-North Carolina border. The, remember, the main impact of this thing is going to be along into the north of where this thing comes in. That'll be the onshore side, the storm surge side. South of the circulation center, that's the offshore side. Um, and that's the side you want to be on. And this is Sunday. And again, for our weekend, we just look dry here. Mostly sunny, upper 80s, little if any chance of rain. Sunday, just a big mass of rain up on the middle Atlantic coast. We go to Monday. And again, you can see a weakness over the eastern United States, and that's going to all depend on how Florence plays out. We might see an increase in storms Monday, but that just remains to be seen. We'll check the European quickly. Uh, this is the solution Thursday night. Uh, it brings it in, again, closer to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, it has been consistently to the south of most of the tropical models. But we'll get better clarity as the week rolls along. But again, the message is very clear here. A dangerous major hurricane coming into the east coast of the United States Thursday night. Probably as a Category 4. Everybody from uh, Charleston on up to Virginia Beach. We'll have to pay very close attention to this. And understand, it's not just the storm surge and the wind. It's the freshwater flooding potential with tremendous amounts of rain. And again, this is the uh, QPF output from WPC with 10 to 15 inches in there. These numbers will probably go higher. Flooding is a very, very real concern and a potentially life-threatening concern there. Let's go out 10 days. This is uh, Wednesday of next week, the 19th. little upper feature over southwest Alabama. Looks kind of moist with a chance of showers and storms. Here are the numbers from the National Weather Service Best Blend of Models product. You can see potential for low 90s, no cool air. Later this week, then highs back in the mid-80s for much of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.